kore te whānau, ko tēnei, and it is my absolute privilege to welcome you here uh, to my kainga, uh, my whare here, my home here, and also my piece of whenua out there, here in the beautiful Hauraki. Um, as you can see, it's pretty rainy outside today, but beautiful nonetheless. So no matter where you are today, hopefully the sun is shining uh, and you're smashing at your kaupapa today. Now this whole video e te whānau, um, is about our relationship, our connection, uh, our whanaungatanga, our bonds between us as your board, as the board of changing minds, and you, our amazing kaimahi, the people who no matter ngā piki me ngā heke, ups and downs that happen every day, you still come and smash out the kaupapa for the ultimate goal of supporting the well-being of Aotearoa. So first and foremost, thank you for everything that you do. Now this video whānau is also about sharing some pūkinga, some skills, uh, sharing mā tauranga, some knowledge that we may have that we can all utilise in supporting the well-being of Aotearoa. And today I'm going to show you a little bit of a secret on how to break down te reo Māori or use a bit of a phrase to be able to strengthen those connections, that whanaungatanga with the whānau, with the people that we support. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's get this te reo flying. So, ete no doubt you would have seen this phrase, kia ora, and more than likely identify it as a uh, sign of a greeting, saying thank you, or even saying hello, uh, you know, in those really uh, relaxed uh, conversations, those relaxed situations, wherever you may be. But there's actually a deeper uh, meaning to this, which actually connects to well-being, and I'm going to show you how we find that out. So, the first part of this phrase, whānau, is actually... Kia. Now, kia is known as a command. So you may have seen phrases like kia kaha, which means to be strong. Kia tūpato, be careful. The kia symbolises to be something. Now, when we bring the second part of this phrase, ora, in this uh, context, it means to become a state of being. And that state in ora, well-being. Not just physical well-being, but holistic well-being. So when we're bringing those together, we are saying, be well. You know, achieve well-being. Hopefully everything about you has well-being. So whenever we're in conversations and saying kia ora, yes, we're greeting. Yes, we are saying hello and thank you and whatnot. But what actually we are saying is, be well, have well-being. And that's the essence to building the connection, those whanaungatanga bonds, the relationship between ourselves and the whānau that we support. So give it a go, get it flying. Next time you're in a conversation, say kia ora and perhaps even share the true meaning of what that means and I'm sure that will bring and strengthen the whanaungatanga together. So once again, thank you on behalf of your board of Changing Minds for everything that you do for supporting the well-being of Aotearoa. Kia ora. Thank you.